So as a second exercise, let x and y be topological spaces. And let the function f mapping x into y be continuous. Prove that for every subset A of the domain space X, the direct image of the closure of A in X is a subset of the closure of the direct image of A in Y. So new corollary. Let X and Y be topological spaces. Then the function f mapping x into y is continuous if and only if for every closed set C in the space y, the inverse image of that set C is closed in the domain space x. So proof. Suppose that the function f is continuous and let the set C be closed in the range space y. Then the complement of C and y is open in the space y and so the inverse image of the complement of c and y which is the complement of the inverse image of c and x is open in the space x as the function f is continuous and hence the inverse image of the set c is closed in the domain space X. So conversely, suppose that for every closed set C in the range space Y, the inverse image of that set is closed in the domain space X. Let f of x be a point in the complement of c and y. Then the complement of c and y is an open neighborhood of the point f of x in the space y. Further, for every open neighborhood V of F of X in the space Y, this set V is the complement of a set C where C is closed in the space Y since every open set is the complement of a closed set. So as the point f of x is in the complement of c and y, the point x is in the inverse image of the complement of c and y, which is the complement of the inverse image of c and x, which is an open neighborhood of the point x in the domain space x such that the complement of the inverse image of c and x is a subset of the inverse image of the complement of c and y. 
and hence the function f is continuous. So now we have a way to determine whether or not a function is continuous in the language of closed sets. So new definition. Let x be a set. Let the collection of sets y sub i together with a topology tau sub i be a collection of topological spaces and let the collection of sets or correction the, cl the correction of functions f sub i be a corresponding collection of functions where the set or rather the function f sub i is a map from x into the space y sub i for every index i then for every index i the inverse image under the map f sub i of the, the topology tau sub i, which is the set of all inverse images under the map f sub i of the sets u, where u is in the topology tau sub i, is a topology on x, called the topology induced by the map f sub i. So we'll show that the inverse image under the map f sub i of the topology tau sub i satisfies the definition for a topology on x. Proof, first condition, as the empty set is in the, to the topology tau sub i for every index i, the inverse image under the map f sub i of the empty set, which is the empty set, is in the inverse image under the map f sub i of the topology tau sub i. And as the entire set y sub i is in the, the topology tau sub i for every index i. The inverse image under the map f sub i of the entire set y sub i is the entire set x, which is in the inverse image under the map f sub i of the topology tau sub i. So the first condition is satisfied. So second condition, let the collection of sets v sub j be a collection of sets in the inverse image under the map f sub i of the topology tau sub i. Then for every index j, the set v sub j is the inverse image under the map f sub i of a set u sub j where u sub j is in the topology tau sub i. And so the arbitrary union of the sets v sub j is the arbitrary union of the inverse images under the set, or rather under the function f sub i of the sets u sub j, which is the same as the inverse image under the map f sub i of the union of those sets now since an arbitrary union 
of sets in the topology tau sub i is once again in the topology tau sub i, the inverse image under the map f sub i of the union of those sets is in the inverse image under the map f sub i of the topology tau sub i. And so the second condition is satisfied. So third, let the sets v sub 1 through v sub n be sets in the inverse image under the map f sub i of the topology tau sub i. Then for every index j in the finite set from 1 to n, the set v sub j is the inverse image under the map f sub i of a set u sub j where u sub j is in the topology tau sub i. And so the finite intersection of the sets v sub j is the finite intersection of the inverse images under the map f sub i of the sets u sub j. And this is the same as the inverse image under the map f sub i of the intersection of those sets. Now since a finite intersection of sets in the topology tau sub i is once again in the topology tau sub i, the inverse image under the map f sub i of this intersection is in the inverse image under the map f sub i of the topology tau sub i. And so the third condition is satisfied and therefore the inverse image under the map f sub i of the topology tau sub i is a topology on X for every index I. So notice that with the induced topology on X, the map f sub i from x into y sub i is continuous for every index i. That is, the map f sub i mapping x into y sub i is continuous by construction in other words the uh, induced topology on X by the function f sub i is defined precisely so that the function will be continuous also notice that the subspace topology on y as a subspace of x is the topology on y induced by the function f mapping y into x defined by f of y is equal to y So new definition, once again, let x be a set, let the collection of sets y sub i together with a topology tau sub i be a collection of topological spaces.
and let the collection of functions f sub i be a corresponding collection of functions where f sub i is a function from x into the space y sub i for every index i the topology on the set x generated by the collection script s, which is the union of the inverse images under the maps f sub i of the topologies tau sub i, is called the initial topology on x generated by the family of functions f sub i and the family of topological spaces y sub i with topologies tau sub i. So we will demonstrate that this collection, script s, satisfies the conditions for a topology generated by a subbasis. Notice that the collection, script S, is the set of all inverse images under the map F sub i of the sets U sub i, where U sub i is in the topology tau sub i and i is in the indexing set i. Clearly, the collection script S is a collection of subsets of the set X. Further, as the entire set X is in the inverse image of the topology tau sub i under the map f sub i for every index i, the union of the elements in the collection script S is the entire set X, and hence the collection script S satisfies the conditions for a topology generated by sub basis. Now the initial topology on X is also called the projective topology.